back to my channel, Torathina, where today I'm doing another comic review. And today I'm reviewing. And today I'm reviewing Long Lost by Scout Comics. This had the cover price of $3.99 and is written by Matthew Ehrman and drawn by Lisa Stirl. So, what's this comic about? Stranger things meet Ghost World in Long Lost. The haunting story of two estranged sisters who find themselves drawn back to their small southern hometown to unlock the disturbing mysteries that are hidden there, with all roads leading back to their enigmatic, secretive mother. Join Scout Comics as they proudly debut this compelling, harrowing journey through family relationship, childhood trauma and southern gothic horror. First off, we're going to talk about the cover. I have a weird love-hate relationship with this cover and I don't really know why. Good review. I love the monochrome look of it. I love that it instantly looks dark. I am always drawn to dark horror-based comics. Horror's my thing. I love the simplicity about it. I love the complexity in it at the same time. What do I hate about it? Nothing. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've I've sold the comic to myself. I think what it is, I think when I put up two comics together on a shop floor, this is the one I'm probably gonna pick up over this one because this one actually looks electric, it's glowing, it's beautiful. And this one is beautiful in its own right, but it is a very washed out cover. But when you look at it on its own, which I am doing in this review, I see the beauty in it. So I take back the love-hate thing. I just love it. The art inside is very different. It's even more simple with very little detail and it's black and white. However, it's not to be confused with bland or boring. I think sometimes black and white works incredibly well, especially with a horror because you have a lot to play with. You've got a lot of mood and atmosphere already established just from being black and white. And then throughout the comic, they've chosen to implement bits of red like they have in the cover to highlight certain things that I'm not gonna spoil for you. It's very sexual, slightly trippy, a little confused on why that is right now, but I still am going with it. I like the confusion when it's horror. I think you aren't meant to know everything that's happening when there's horror because then you wouldn't be as scared maybe. She dresses like me and has the same hair like me and I think that's why I like the comic. I have that exact checkered shirt. Many of them actually, many of them. She's incredibly cute. Her pet is incredibly cute. This character in this already a dark world is very cute and I like that contrast. It's very creepy, it's very unsettling. Certain things in the comic happen that you don't see joining together, or I didn't at least. Very little actually happens in the comic, but it's one of those comics that is paced so well you just enjoy every page. And it's incredibly different compared to the other review, Coyote, where there's so so much going on that it's too much, where this has got so little going on, but it's not too little. It's the perfect blend of enjoying everything that's happening because it's so well paced, well drawn, well written. And that's a very fine line to walk. It's very, very easy to leave too much out in the first issue and you equally don't know what's going on because there's too little information as opposed to too much. And this comic has one of my favourite formulas of writing where I'm not going to spoil anything, but the last couple of pages turned my wanting to continue to read this to needing to continue continue to read this. I need to pick up issue two. I need to see what happens, even if it's just so I know what's going on from the last couple of pages. But that's it. They've done their work. They've done their job. I want to carry on reading. That's all they have to do. They've entertained me. They've scared me and confused me in a good way. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. Have you read this comic? Did you enjoy it as much as me? Or do you have different opinions? I love talking about comics. That's why I do these videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps out the channel. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.